fetish clubs when I was uh, trying to get models for the first Spice of Life, that one with all the genitals. I don't know where to find people. I don't know, you know, just ask people on the tube, can I cast your genitals, please? I have no idea what to do. So I went to fetish clubs. Well, at least these people will uh, kind of be open to these kind of ridiculous questions, uh, suggestions. And I, one, I went to one, and there's this guy standing in this cage, uh, getting his testicles sewn to the bars of the cage. And I was thinking, I don't want to go there. I don't want to be this person that has to do that to get off. I don't want to go down that route. So I decided, you know, I kind of really never kind of went back to these things. Plus, if you look at fetish clubs, all the women look great and the men look ridiculous. Because men look really stupid, most of them in kind of leather corsets, or, you know, most of them shouldn't wear tight fitting rubber. They look frightening in a doctor's coat or a, whatever. It's just, there isn't the same. Ability to be expressive, it seems to me, which, which is basically to me, it denies they're basically wearing they're all wearing uniforms. They're kind of doing this. I'm going to do fetish now, and I'm going to be this fetish thing. And the whole point of fetish is supposed to be a personal thing, it's supposed to express yourself and your own thing through this. But even in a fetish club, people are too frightened to express themselves. They kind of jump into this predefined idea and they kind of go, Right, now I'm in a doctor's coat, I can go to the fetish club. So I just found the whole thing ridiculous. So basically, maybe this is me exploring my own sexuality through my art. No different to Picasso and Rodin and all those other people. And I'm quite sure they'd have admitted it as well. But it is, I think, quite a beautiful object. And it is quite a curious object. I mean, who knows? This is a, you know, I don't know, this probably never been done before. You know, my degree was experimental studio art. So the whole point of my work is to try to push the boundaries, try to find new ways of making old images or just, I don't know, stuff. So, is this obscene? I don't know. I mean, if it, it was obscene to do it, she was willing, but there is something questionable about this, and I kind of, I'm quite happy to sit with that. So, here's some of my new work, which we're going to see in the corner. So, this is a, this came about because I was trying to find, um, oops, press the wrong button. This is her own gear. So, this is called Dominate, Subordinate, basically. She's a switch, you know, sometimes she likes to whack, sometimes she likes to be whacked. And that's fine. So these are people basically expressing themselves. This is basically through the medium of photography. Are these images obscene? Certainly somewhere they are, but I don't think so. This is, what could be more less obscene than a person literally just expressing themselves and using me, the artist, as a tool to do that? You know, kind of... Same again here. Now, I guess this is a bit of a smash-up, because she put on these gloves. I thought she was going to do the washing up. I've never seen all this stuff before. Rubber stockings, that was a new... Thing for me, and she put on this mask, this hood. And I thought she was like a skeleton, it's kind of like. And I happened to have this scythe in the workshop, as you do, and somebody made this, and so it's a bit of a kind of collaboration. Really, that's what I like. People come to me, and we kind of then we decide how we get what we're going to do. I don't like the idea of the artist kind of imposing his idea onto these poor models because I, I do find that to be quite pornographic. I think it starts getting into uh, pornographic ideas when you're, you know, kind of dressing someone up, or making them pose like this, or doing that. I don't see a lot of difference between that and pornography, to be honest. You know, they become the, the object in this work, whereas I'm very much trying to make these people express themselves. So, or maybe I'm just making up excuses to look at naked ladies, I don't know. Um, you tell me. Uh, uh, so I'm just going to show a few more of them, they won't kind of... Okay, so, and finally, is this obscene? I mean, what happens when you start messing around with religious iconography? So this kind of crosses all kinds of barriers that people may not like, because you're basically smashing up the two things, your unity and religion. Oh God, you can't have that, right? Not, but if you go all the way back to the Irish sculpture at the, at the beginning, you know, it, was, it used to be fine. So, can anyone, because you're all very bright people, can anyone tell me why this cannot possibly be Jesus? Is it the uh, hands rather than the wrist nails? Uh, no, but good point. He's not circumcised. He's not circumcised, exactly. So this is how I get away with it. It's not Jesus, it could possibly be. Uh, right, so that's about it from me. So then we're going to kind of hear from you. How long have I been? Have I got have I, have I got over a step? Where are we? Seven minutes. Oh. <laughs> so I'm ready for another one of these. Uh, so I talked about how images of genitals can be pornographic, how they can be not, how can they be hum how they can be humorous, they can be educational, and they can be for a good cause. So this is something I'm working on at the moment. In fact, when it's finished, it's going to look like that. This is a mock-up. You're actually the second lot of people to see this, these images. 
And again, these are just boobs. This is analogous to the great water vagina, apart from I'm doing it with breasts. I'm also doing groins, bums, boobs, and pants. But I haven't got pictures of those right now. And I'm using this to uh, raise money for breast cancer charities. So I think this is uh, quite interesting. So some people are going to find all these boobs a bit of a problem, but there's a good cause behind it. So then what are they going to do with it? How are they going to argue against that? You know, so I quite like that. Smash it up a little bit. Um, and then I decided, right, I can do all these things. So I'm going to do the bums for colon cancer. I'm going to do the groins for cervical cancer. All going to be for cancer. Basically, I'm going to go, right, let's do something really good with all this stuff. And then you, you basically can't accuse me of being obscene. Uh, so that's kind of, kind of the point. But, so the thing is, so basically, I've got this many. So I've got an exhibition opening in London in two weeks. So that's all I can do. I'm going to make a little version of it. And then I want this many. So I've got 100 and something, I need 288, so I need your boobs. So basically, <laughs> I'm here to ask you if I can scan your boobs. It's quite easy, you just go like that. I can't do it myself, obviously. So uh, ask, tell your friends, and uh, you know, if you want to do it, then that would be very helpful. Uh, sometime in the next couple of months would be really cool. So, um, and uh, that's about it. I hope I've been a little bit interesting. Some people can't. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, the point is that hopefully we can discuss this and maybe you'll come up with things that are more interesting than I've managed to come up with, but that's the best I can do. So thanks very much for coming and uh, have a drink and then we'll have a chat. Yeah?